Hey Upload, I'm Jamie and you're really jealous of me because I've just played No Man's Sky in VR. So earlier this week, the guys at Hello Games invited me down to their offices in Guildford. I got to see some of the new Beyond update that's coming out next week uh, and learn about the third core pillar. Now we already knew that two of the core pillars from the Beyond update, of course, will be VR support, which we're all really excited about, and it's some sort of expanded multiplayer. But the third pillar that they talked to me about this week was uh, something called No Man's Sky 2.0. Now this is actually kind of a subtler thing than the other two key additions. So, um, Basically the way they described it to me is a way of like kind of adding more to the game but then also making sure that new players and returning players from a couple of years ago like myself don't get too lost when they first start up. So it's going to be adding things like uh, really cool things actually like creature riding and cooking and expanded base building and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. But at the same time they're kind of going back and tweaking some of the things that will happen when you first boot up the game and to make sure that you're getting pushed in kind of the directions you want to get pushed in. It's not like uh, Sean Murray said to me, for example, that when they've done previous updates for the game, they would always make sure that when you first booted up the game, that's what that you were being pushed towards. Like, so, so, for example, when base building got added, you'd boot up the game and they'd be like, go and do base building. Which is cool, but at the same time, you know, there's a lot more to No Man's Sky. So the idea here is to, you know, put all these crazy new things in, but at the same time it's up to players to find them themselves and go and play the way they want to play. Now of course I got to play the game in VR, I went through a lot of the tutorial section again in VR using the, um, the Valve Index. Um, David's already played some of No Man's Sky in VR but man, it's just incredible. Uh, just starting up on your own planet, I started up on a kind of frozen wasteland. Um, looking out across the scenery, you know, uh, Sean Murray said that pretty much everyone in the office when they first see a tree in VR for the first time they stop and look up because, you know, they're the, tree, uh, they're the size they should be. Um, it's just incredible to see and one of the things that really struck me is, is how some of the interfaces changed in VR in some really cool ways. So for example, to interact with stuff in the world, I don't just like look and click a button, but I actually stretch out with my left hand, pull a trigger and then pull it towards me. Now that sounds like, uh, you know, kind of, I guess that sounds kind of arduous, but at the same time it feels so kind of sci-fi in Star Trek, it's actually kind of fun. The other big part of the update obviously is multiplayer, but that actually mixes with VR in some incredible ways. I think a lot of us VR fans really want like one of those big expansive MMOs to play. Hello Games are stopping short of calling this an MMO, but it kind of really is. So in my demo I was with three other players, uh, we could do really really cool things like go and mine together, go and complete objectives together. At one point when I needed a certain amount of materials to fix my ship, uh, some of my friends had already gathered it and uh, just passed it over to me which was really really helpful. But then the guys are also talking about some really cool features like a Nexus space hub where you can go and meet up with other people online, uh, show off your ships to them, show off your base to them. But crucially go out on new missions together, uh, Hello Games say they're going to be doing community missions so that should be really cool, give you something to do every week in No Man's Sky. Not that you'll ever you know, run out of things to do in No Man's Sky. So yeah, you can check out my full preview and thoughts on the website right now, I've written a pretty extensive article on it. It's going to be a free update for everyone on PS4, PC and Xbox, obviously the PS4 and PC players are getting VR support thrown in there for free. 